Hi everyone, it's a little while since I did a book haul, so I thought that would be a fun thing to do for today's video. Last week we went back to our local used bookstore for the first time since the pandemic. I did do one video where I got a mystery book bundle that I picked up from there without going inside a few weeks ago, but this is the first time we've been inside. They opened up last week, so now you can go in. There can be 10 customers at a time, although I don't think I've ever even seen 10 customers in there ever. And of course you have to wear a mask and they take your temperature, but you can go in and browse and look at stuff. So that was really nice to do and we had a good time. They had just moved locations before all of this started, so everything is still pretty disorganized. And I also forgot to wear my glasses, so I was really getting up close to some of the books. But we had a pretty good time and I got a couple things there and then I'll also show you a few things that I ordered or that I got out of storage. So we'll have a little bit of a book haul today. The first thing I found was a copy of Ancillary Mercy, which is the last book in this trilogy by Anne Leckie. I was going to put it on this month's TBR. I've been reading them from the library, but instead I put her fantasy book, The Raven Tower, on this month's TBR because I have just been reading so much science fiction lately, but I'm definitely planning to read Ancillary Mercy next month. So it was nice to find a copy of it at the bookstore because I've been getting them as eBooks. I also got a copy of The Great Hunt, which is the second book of the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan. I bought the first book recently. I have mentioned a few times that this is a series that I tried to read a few times as a kid, and I don't think I ever made it further than book three. Like, I might have started book four. Um, so I own book one, and I think getting book two was kind of a promise to myself and others that I am going to read The Wheel of Time this year. I'm going to do it. The last thing I got from the bookstore is this book called Kitchen Knife Skills. Yes, it is called that. Good. An essential reference for all your culinary needs. It has techniques for carving, boning, slicing, chopping, dicing, mincing, and filleting. So like a lot of people, we have been doing a ton of cooking lately and really enjoying it. And actually my husband is the one that enjoys chopping things so much that I end up letting him do most of the prep. And of course these days, we have YouTube to figure out how to cut up things that we don't already know how to cut up in an efficient manner, but I really like this book. The knife is kind of shiny too, which is cool. And it has step-by-step -step illustrations of how exactly to cut up different vegetables, herbs, and meat. Um, so yeah, that's kind of just for fun. It's not exactly something I would read for this channel, but I don't know, there's something really nice about cookbooks and books related to cooking, even though these days it's so easy to just go online and print a recipe for something you want, but I like having stuff like this around. The other thing that I actually bought this month for my planned Cosmere reread is this box set copy of the Mistborn trilogy. I'll just take them out of the box. I haven't even really seen these covers. This series has had so many different covers that I forget even what my previous copy had, but these seemed like a nice neutral cover and they were a good deal on Amazon. So there's Mistborn. Oh yeah, this used to be called Mistborn the Final Empire and they've decided, I think, that calling the first book in a trilogy the Final Empire is really confusing. So now book one is just called Mistborn. And then the second one is the Well of Ascension, and the third one is the Hero of Ages. So I'm supposed to be reading the first two this month to keep on track with my totally unplanned and unscheduled reread of The Cosmere. Now I'm just going to show a few books that I got from storage at my in-law's house. Most of these are things that were mine from when I was younger, like from high school or earlier, that I have kind of slept around with me and am now gradually getting our bookshelf organized. Actually, one of my goals this week, it, not a reading goal, but just a general life goal, is to get our big bedroom bookshelf a little better organized because even though we've lived in this apartment for a while, there's still a lot of stuff that I haven't set up properly. So a couple of these are books that I mentioned in my most recommended books video. I have To Say Nothing of the Dog by Connie Willis. This is a it is science fiction in a very light way. It is a humorous time travel story that does a lot of satire about uh, Victorian novel tropes, and there is a very amusing romance, and it's just, it's a really cute book. 
The other one that I also talked about in that most recommended books video is by Elizabeth Peters, Crocodile on the Sandbank. This is the first book in a very, very long mystery series, which I highly recommend. And even if you haven't read a lot of mystery series, I think this would be a fun one to start with. Obviously, it's pretty short. It is set from late Victorian times, ranging up through the end of World War I and a little later for the latest books in the series. It's set in Egypt. The main characters are Egyptologists. And this is also a pretty amusing series that has some serious things in it as well, and it's one that I've always really enjoyed. So before I decided to become a musician, I briefly flirted with the idea of going into classics, and one of my favorite books growing up was I, Claudius by Robert Graves. This pretty much tells a certain period of Roman history from the point of view of the Emperor Claudius, from before he was born up through when he becomes emperor. There's a second book, which I didn't like as much, that is about his life as emperor. So this is basically just written as his autobiography, and there's just a lot of gossip and scandal and Romans doing mostly terrible things and poisoning each other. It's a lot of fun. I really recommend it if you like historical fiction. This is kind of an older style of historical fiction, but it is very engaging. Next, I have a copy of The Phantom Tollbooth, which I bought at a used bookstore a couple years ago because I just really loved this book as a kid and I didn't have a copy anymore. What I also loved was there was a animated movie of this book that I watched when I was quite young and I really loved that movie. We never owned it, I rented it a bunch of times back in the days when you would go to a, well it wasn't a blockbuster, it was whatever the local video rental store was in my small town. I would go and rent it on VHS and that was a thing. Anyway, this is also a really cute book. Uh, I don't really know why I have it with me, but it just brings back some good memories. Then we have The Great Book of Amber. So this contains 10 books, although they're pretty short. Um, it's by Roger Zelazny, and this is a pretty old classic fantasy series. Um, the story behind this is that it was a series my husband remembered reading when he was younger and when we first started dating and then there was a period of time when we were long distance and we would read these to each other. We would basically make each other audiobooks and send it back and forth. So we got, I think we got about halfway through. There are sort of two arcs in this series of 10 books that follow two different characters. Um, and I don't even really know how to describe this series. It starts out with a guy who has totally lost his memory and he's in our world and it turns out he's a prince from another world and he's from this very large royal family that are all basically backstabbing and conniving and at each, at each other's throats all the time and yeah, stuff goes down. But um, I don't know, I have fond memories of this as well and maybe someday I'll actually finish the second half of it. It also has a quite nice cover. Oh yeah, it says on the back. Now here are all 10 novels together in one magnificent omnibus vol volume. I can't read. Witness the titanic battle for supremacy waged on earth and the courts of chaos and on a magical world of mystery, adventure, and romance. Doesn't get much better than that, right? The last thing I have to show you is book five of Harry Potter, Order of the Phoenix. So I don't know if I've mentioned this on the channel or not, but my husband and I have been rereading Harry Potter this year. He has been reading them out loud to me before bed, which is really nice. I didn't realize I would liked getting read to quite so much. Um, but yeah, so we just finished book four and we've started book five. And book five was actually my favorite and it was his least favorite back in the day. So we're waiting to see uh, how that's going to pan out. Book four was his favorite and that was actually my least favorite, but I really enjoyed it this time. It's just the graveyard scene at the end when I was a kid it just gave me nightmares for like weeks. Um, and it was still pretty creepy as an adult, but I didn't have any nightmares, we're all good. So I still think this is like the prettiest cover in the series too. I really like this shade of blue. Uh, anyway, so that's my book haul for today. There are a few things I'm planning to pre-order in the near future, so maybe we'll have another book haul in the upcoming weeks. We'll see, but thanks for watching, and please like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me.